that like and trust, man, that is huge. That is our integrity factor. That trust factor is in the W as well. All that. We are serious. You gotta be able to have that integrity. A good reputation will follow you, a bad one will beat you there. Yes or no? Yes. You have to have that. Next one. Positive attitude. Positive. Did you wake up this morning going, it's a good morning, God, or good God, it's morning? <laughs> How's it going? Another day, another time. <laughs> and you're checking the sign. We're in Keller Williams, right? Okay, just making sure here. Hold on. Because <laughs> we got to watch that. And some of you, like, innocuous, kind of flipping people, just some of the comments you make can absolutely rock somebody, good or bad. That positive attitude. Got to have that PMA, positive mental attitude. And how you work with that, the positive attitude means dropping language like I'm just being realistic. That's a euphemism for negativity, okay? We don't need to know all the reasons why it won't work, but why it will work. And focus on those things. And the positive attitude, you know, when you think about most people out there, I walk into most places, they don't need a revival, they need a resurrection. You know what I'm getting at? It's an adult daycare center, basically. Half the people look like they're weaned on a pickle. <laughs> So keep those smiles going. And out there with the public, you're always on stage. You gotta watch it, you gotta keep kind of positive and do that. So when you think positive attitude, the reason why I put it in bold here like that, in all caps, is because I had a lady that said, oh yeah, I'm positive, it sucks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Are you kidding? Also another funny lady I mean, once said, if you got a good attitude, but you know what, don't know what you're doing, you're just a motivated idiot. <laughs> well, that's one way of looking at it. So we got to have the attitude matching up with your skill sets, and that's what's great here too. The next one, negotiating and closing. <clears throat> negotiating and closing. Think about it, everybody. This is where the rubber meets the road. This is where you get paid. Once again, not show and tell, show and sell. Do people want to work you over out there? Yes or no? <laughs> yes. Do they? Yes. Hey. Let me let you in on something. They don't ever want you to have a commission, okay? Have you, have you gotten this memo? They want you to work for free, do all the marketing, everything else. <gasps> they look at the GFE, and they see all that. And some of you actually kind of help them out on this. You look at the floor, you're like, oh, well, that's what they pay me, you know? All these things. Just remember in your life, you never have a commission. It's a fee for service. So somebody says, wow, this GFE, it shows $32,000 on the commissions going on to y'all. And you just look them straight in the eye and say, the overwhelming benefits that you and your family will receive far outweigh my fee for service, what you do. And even if they're from West Virginia and they go, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, West Virginia, friend. You go, yes, the last time you were in for 11 years, you picked up what again in value? Oh, that's right, $91,000. All the tax right up all on the way. And you did mention to me, Marcia and Steve, that you were going to stay here at least that many years, if not longer, wouldn't you agree? So you can see how you always win the most. Isn't that true? See, so make a note, fee for service. Put it on the bottom of the page or something, fee for service. It's not commission. Again, this is the meeting I gave to Gary Keller in 1993. Words like this, he caught fire with this stuff. Never say contract, never say sign. And I'd be around that Austin office in the headquarters, and people would be contract, sign, fax it back and sign, all that. Watch how you are. There's 41 fear-inducing words, and they're scared enough of you already. See, I bet $10 that even in this building, somewhere, there's a sign that says no solicitor. And yet we solicit all day long. <laughs> Even we don't like salespeople. Fair enough? Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're fearful enough of you. They're scared. You say things like contract, sign. Sign? Never. Out looms their friend that says, don't sign anything unless you read the fine print. Or their mother that says, oh, you're meeting the agent? Well, don't sign anything. Get all the information, and we'll get back with her. So what do you say instead? Authorize, endorse, pay, approve, autograph. There's five or six out there, and you sprinkle them in. There's so many docs to do with. It blatantly says contract. It's the agreement, it's the paperwork. Mm -hmm. These are the things that are gonna help you. Now, of course, they try to back out. You say, you signed the contract. <laughs> 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 Dang, having those things. Some of you still say appointment. 
How many of you admit you set appointment in the last three hours, <laughs> let alone just pop by, stop by, drop by? You don't want an appointment. That's draining. I'll pop by your home. We'll share with you some compelling advantages of YS. And at the worst case scenario, you got another opinion from an expert. Best case scenario, we can enhance your opportunity. Fair enough? That kind of stuff. Pop by, stop by, drop by. Just little things that you can do to make a big difference. And that's how it works. But you think about the closing the sale. If you don't close, who loses the most? We lose a little, the company, but who loses the most if they never get off the dime, go somewhere else and it's never worked out well, and all of a sudden you see it on the expired again, all those things. Who loses the most when they say no? They who do. does? They do. And conversely, if they say yes to K-Dub and you're doing it right, who wins the most? We lose a little, the company itself, all that. But who really wins the most when they say yes? They do. They do. So who wins the most? They do. They do. They do. Gotta have that heart of an educator. Hey, 